Are you struggling to buy a home in Arlington County? Inventory is at an all-time low. Buyers are struggling. They're having trouble finding their homes. Right now, because of the low inventory, because of the high demand, it is extremely hard for buyers to not only find the home that they want, but to get the home that they want. Our team is having success at levels not seen in the industry at helping buyers in this environment. We're helping them find homes before they go on the market. We're helping them write offers before the bidding war starts. And if the bidding war starts, we're helping them win without being the highest offer. We have several techniques to help buyers in this situation so that you can find your home and save time and money. Right now, I've got three of the top agents on our team with me to tell stories of how they recently helped a buyer looking in your neighborhood get the home that they wanted. Cassidy, tell us your story. Um, so I have a few. Uh, most recently, I helped my clients win on a home that was going to be extremely competitive. We've been watching it as a coming soon for over a month. I went and saw it immediately with them, uh, and we made sure that we got our offer in with very clean, strong terms that we knew would be compelling to the seller. Uh, I did some preliminary groundwork with the listing agent to make sure that I understood what would motivate the sellers to ratify with us, even if we weren't the highest bidder. Um, and so because we were teed up and prepared, we were able to get our offer in more quickly than anyone else. The first day of the open house, there were over 80 groups that toured the home. I motivated the sellers to ratify with us before they even entertained any other offers, knowing that it would escalate significantly by leveraging another home that had an offer deadline and imposing a deadline for the sellers to answer us and to ratify with us to purchase the home before they had any time to receive any competing offers. And subsequent to that, after we ratified and won the home, the sellers did receive other offers that escalated over the price that we are now under contract with. Cassidy had a buyer looking in a neighborhood that had very, 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 very low inventory, very, very, very high demand. There was an offer deadline, right? So this is very, very common. The listing agent was trying to list the home on, you know, typically like on a Wednesday or Thursday, uh, drum up interest, have an open house on Sunday, and then have an offer deadline of, you know, the following Tuesday. Very, very common strategy by listing agents to maximize interest, get the highest dollar and get those bidding wars going. And what Cassidy did for her clients is use the fact that another home was on the market, had a deadline as well, uh, she used that to create urgency and their own deadline to the seller. Because of that, they were able to ratify before the bidding war started after Cassidy's clients got their dream home, got it under contract, other offers came in for that property that were much, much, much higher. So she not only helped them get the home they wanted, she saved them tens of thousands of dollars in the process. Erin has an amazing story as well about how she helped a buyer find a home before it ever went on the market. Yeah, so I showed my buyers a property in this neighborhood and it wasn't for them. It didn't have a backyard, which is a must have for their family and for their future puppy. So the neighborhood I'd actually sold a home in months earlier, um, represented the buyers, and the listing agent on that property, I knew she lived in the neighborhood, so I called her up right away and I said, who do you know that's thinking of selling that would be interested in, you know, helping my clients out and, and get their sale, and it just so happened that she did have a seller that she'd been talking to. He wasn't even planning to list his home for another four months, but I was able to, to convince her to let us just take a look, see if it would even be the right floor plan, if they would even retain it and then go from there. It was the perfect home for them. They were even able to get the perfect backyard, it was the right size, check all their boxes. The only challenge was that the seller wasn't planning to move until after the holidays. We were able to structure a deal completely off market so they didn't even have to compete. Where he got a rent back, he got to stay for the holidays with his kids, and that gave my buyers time to work with their contractor to come up with their dream kitchen design and get started on the construction right away before they even had to move in. So it was a win-win for everybody. So that's another great way we help our clients out is we find the home before it goes on the market, which completely avoids the bidding war, right? There's a multitude of ways that we do this, that we 
find these homes before they come on the market. Last year we sold over 500 homes. This year we're gonna sell a thousand and we sell a third of them almost off the market. So using techniques like this, uh, using other techniques, we're able to find these homes, get our buyers in there and get them under contract before the bidding war starts, before the homes even on the market. Now it's not always possible to find the home before it comes on the market. It's not always possible to get the offer accepted before the bidding war starts. Our team has tons and tons of different ways that we help buyers win bidding wars without being the highest offer. I've documented several of these in my best-selling book, The Hyperlocal Hyper Real Estate Agent, which has helped thousands of real estate agents across the country. And now I'm gonna have Caitlin share an example of how she had a client recently uh, win in a bidding war without being the highest offer. So these actually, these clients came to me, um, they actually had another realtor beforehand and they were losing out on these deals. So what I did was I said, we're going to make the best offer. It's going to be uh, clean and to the point. It may not be the highest one, but for sure we're going to win. And what did you mean by cleanest? The cleanest was we had tight contingencies. Um, the appraisal was really tight. The financing was in a couple of days. Um, so we were strategically able to win it over having tight deadlines. All right, so there's a lot of real estate agents out there who are kind of old school. They were taught by the big broker, you know, big box broker mentality. And they just take the contract and, and they sort of say everything's standard and they treat it as just a fill in the blank and they use, you know, just recommended timelines, deadlines, and contingencies. And the problem with that is you're making your offer exactly like everyone else's. You're not, you know, using those terms to your advantage. So if that's what you do and, and everyone else's is identical, all you can compete on is price. Well, there's other you know, ways to compete. And if you use those terms, if you use those conditions in the contract to increase certainty for the seller, to make it more certain that the closing is going to happen, they're going to be able to negotiate more with you on price. So they're going to come down. They're going to give you money in exchange for certainty. Everybody likes certainty in life. Certainly sellers do when their home's on the market. So if you use the terms to increase their certainty, you're gonna get a better deal on price. And there's lots and lots of different ways we do that. And we do that in ways that does not put extra unnecessary risk on the buyers, right? When you meet with us to begin your home search, we educate you on these techniques up front. Because the worst thing would you know, to happen would be that find out about this after you found your home. And then you're you know, not only considering the home and the financing and uh, what offer you're gonna make, you're, you're you know, learning these contract techniques. So we educate you about these upfront so that you're ready when you find the right home. All right, you just heard three different ways that we help buyers get their dream home, save time, and save thousands and thousands of dollars in low inventory, high demand, competitive markets. The good news is we've got a ton of different ways that we help buyers do this. In fact, I've got agents standing by who are helping buyers every week with this challenge and they can help you. So click on the link below or call us today to book your no obligation appointment today.